Hello everyone, welcome back to Math and Zone with Python and today we are going to see how you can transform your variable if it looks like it's not normal. So to transform a data into a normal shape, follow me in this tutorial. But before that, let's see what we did in the previous video. Previously on Math and Zone with Python. Okay, let's go back to Python. Uh, I have the file here, I label this uh, variable transform and uh, make sure you save this file in the same directory as the file you saved your data. So uh, we have this imported three libraries and uh, I'm going to use the pandas to load my data, the matplot uh, library for plotting and this numpy for mathematical functions. So uh, what we are going to do, first let's load the data. Uh, so I'm loading my data, naming them as data frame. Okay, pd to read csv file. And my file is called birthdata.csv. Okay, so after loading, let's print and see how it look like in python df.head so let's print this one okay it says that the uh, best data that is csv does not exist okay there is an error here fix that and run it again okay here it is and then after loading our data let's proceed now, as I said, we are going to see how you can transform uh, the certain variable, uh, which looks like uh, its distribution is not normal. So for this tutorial, I'm going to pick the column of the mother's age, this one, the mother's age. Okay, so let's print the distribution of the mother's age and uh, in the original data, and then we will transform and compare its distribution with this original data. So we are going to use this program to uh, observe the distribution of the data frame. So the concept of a uh, histogram, how you can plot the histogram, we did in the uh, tutorial of data visualization in part one. So just to refer to the uh, data visualization part one, you will see all the procedures for plotting the histogram. So here I'll just paste all the codes on how you can plot the histogram for the distribution of this mother's age column here. Okay, these are the codes uh, and they, we have the configuration of the figure size. We have the hist function uh, where we have the variable data, the beans, we assigned 15, color of the beans, green, and edge color to be white, and the title. So the PhD.show stop this iteration for this output. Okay, now before we proceed in plotting this one, now let's screen first the data, df uh, equal to df dot drop an A. Okay, so it will drop any row with missing values. If it is, then let's run this one and see. Okay, we have the output and you can see the distribution of the original data is a little bit skewed uh, to the left. And uh, now our interest here is to transform the data so that it looks like a normal distribution. So let's just start transforming this one, but uh, we are going to generate a new data frame uh, for this specific variable, the mother's age. So we have to rename it because we are going to transform as mat. Uh, mat edge and this mat edge quality for transformation okay and uh, so we are going to transform the original mat edge and call the transformation function transform and uh, we are going to pass an array of four basic transformation functions you can add your own but i'm going to use four basic function and i'm going to use the numpy to call those basic function that np dot uh, square root function and uh, i'm going to use np dot exponential np dot natural log and uh, lastly i'm going to use the inverse 
transformation that is NP reciprocal okay so let's widen this one first so these are the uh, basic function which I'm going to use in plotting the uh, or transforming our data so we have the uh, NP dot SQRT which is the square root NP dot exponential NP dot logarithm if you don't uh, uh, customize the base of this logarithm basically it takes the logarithm to base uh, e so this is the natural logarithm and np dot reciprocal this uh, is the inverse uh, transformation so uh, now let's print out this transformed information which is the mat edge so let's print and see the kind of data that we are having here Okay, this data is the data for a square root, exponential, logarithmic, and the reciprocal transformation. Now, we are going to plot these four kind of data into four different distributions so that we can compare its distribution to a normal distribution. So, we start plotting. So, we are going to plot the mat, the mat edge dot hist because we are going to use a histogram to compare its distribution so we are going to assign beans the beans we are going to pick 20 beans and also the layout remember because we are having four subplots i'm going to pick a two by two layout okay and the the edge color let's say black and the Lastly, I'm going to assign the figure size and the figure size here. I'm going to pick a size of 10 by 8. So I have to stop this output or oh, let's add a title first plt plot super plot because this is a sub uh, sub plot. So we are going to have one title major title though there will be minor title. So the major title is we use the super plot, uh, super title, and within this super title, we name it as uh, transformed output. And now we stop this plt dot show. So we are done. Let's run it and see. So you can see the distribution here. Okay. We have a quite good distribution for the square root rather than for logarithm exponential and the reciprocal so if you compare the original distribution okay with the square root distribution the square root distribution is quite close to normal distribution compared to the distribution of the original data before transformation so this is how you can transform the data from skewed to normal or close to normal distribution so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share the content of this video. Goodbye.